Hey, welcome home. <laughs> I'm happy to see you. It's been a long day without you, but you're here now and that is all that I need. I'm very glad that you're back. Things have been a little hectic at home without you and I don't know. I miss you. And I know you were not gone for very long, but I'm happy that you're back. I missed you. <laughs> I missed you. <laughs> While you were gone, I was trying to think of something to say to you when you come back. To encourage you, to make you feel happy. You've been very stressed about your exams and... Okay. I'll be frank. I have been feeling a little bit alone without you. And I know I need to be supportive and I know I need to be with you that we're a team but I don't know. I miss you. I miss you a lot. You come home, you're tired, you just want to go to bed. When you have free time, you study. I understand. <laughs> I'm not stupid. And I know that feeling this way, feeling jealous, is also stupid. I understand, but would it be love if I didn't feel this way, right? I've been thinking about it all day, about you, about us, and I will always be by your side, I will always be on your team. That's why I don't want this to be left unspoken. I don't want anything to be between us. I don't want to develop resentment for something you don't even know I am feeling. <sighs> I'm not a very outspoken man. You're the only one that I open up with. And all day I've been thinking of a way to tell you this. To tell you how I feel and it's weird. I can't find the word to describe it. I would probably describe it as jealousy is the word that I would use but <laughs> jealous of what? it's not like you're doing anything <laughs> when we got together you said that I could tell you anything and that's what I want to do I refuse to dislike you for something you're not at fault for doing. I don't want to feel any ill intention towards you because because I like you. You make me feel strong. You make me feel like I'm not alone. Like everything will be okay when I go to bed and I fall asleep I, I feel comfort knowing that you're there 
That's why you're so important to me. <laughs> and I know it sounds selfish to tell you all of this, to make you feel bad while you're working really hard, but I think that it would be more selfish to not tell you anything, to leave you like this in the dark about how I really feel. So here's the deal. This is my proposition to you. Let's, both of us, let's go to dinner. Not, not a fancy dinner. Not something special. Well, it is special to me. Anything we do together is special to me. But never mind that. It's not special. It's... I just want to go out and get some food with you. Because inside, I know you will feel guilty not studying or resting. But if you're outside, is it really your fault that you are, you know, not doing something that you can't do because you are outside? I mean, you don't have any books outside. You can't really study or focus. I want to get in the car and drive, you and me, just drive around, find a restaurant that's open, probably a fast food place, get some food and then eat it in the car somewhere, just the two of us, just you and me. I'm not scared because you'll be there. <laughs> Even though I really hate going outside at night, I feel like that both of us together would be comfortable. That we could be making good memories. Even in this time of <laughs> everything being so hard. Or, or we could not do that if you want. Maybe it was a stupid idea. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm like this. I'm sorry that I keep thinking about all of this. I'm sorry about everything. I know I shouldn't feel this way. I just like you so much. I can't help myself but feel this way. Thinking about you all the time without having you around this. It hurts. It just hurts. <sighs> That's all I have to say. <sighs> That's all I have to say. Anyway, I wanted you to know this. I want you to know everything. I trust you. I trust you so much. And I love you. And I wouldn't want anything to get between us two. I just want to be happy with you. In the end, it's all I ever wanted. And it's all I will ever want. 
So, <laughs> wanna take the car? <laughs>